Devastation and destruction not seen here for two decades. The massive clean-up beginning after Israel's major military incursion. Mahmoud al Ghul's home was destroyed by a missile. He fled with thousands of other Palestinians during the two days of fighting. I'm so upset. It would be easier for me to die than see this. Mr Al Ghul breeds birds for a living. Many are now dead. He says he has no money to rebuild but doesn't know where he'll go. To come back and see my house destroyed like this, it's very difficult. All across Janine Camp, there are physical and mental scars of this latest conflict. Basma Sami Hamad was asleep with her children when Israeli shelling hit. We felt we were going to die, she tells me. Today, she was supposed to be celebrating her daughter's first birthday. For the thousands of people who live here that weren't involved in fighting, they say they've been hit with collective punishment by Israel. Their homes, cars, roads destroyed or damaged. They say they lived in terror for two days. For a few moments, the cleanup was paused for the funerals of some 12 Palestinians killed this week. Palestinian officials say five were fighters and four casualties under the age of 18. This is just the first step. It's not uh, by no means uh, the, the last action that we will take. We will do what we can. One Israeli soldier was also killed. Israel says it targeted Palestinian militants, but people here say civilians are also paying the price. Alison Horn, ABC News, Janine.